So today what we're going to do is a one-year rebuild with the Baltimore Orioles. I'm going to just kind of do a couple one-year rebuilds for the next couple days just to kind of test them out, see what you guys think about them. If you guys want to see more of them, hit the like button down below. That's the easiest way for me to know that you guys want to see some more of these types of videos. Also in the comment section, let me know which team I should do next. I'm thinking about doing one-year rebuilds because it's kind of at the end of the MLB season and I kind of want to test myself and see if I can win a World Series in one year. It's been kind of a challenge recently for me to win World Series so I think it'll be kind of fun to see if we can do it with some of the worst teams in baseball and just kind of work our way through the rest of the teams and do a bunch of one season rebuild. So again guys if you guys want to see some more of them make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content and as always leave a comment to see which team you would like to see, or leave a comment to let me know which team you would like to see next. Other than that guys the roster that I've been using is on screen now. That's the one that I've been using like I just said. Uh, I did tweak it a little bit to make sure it was all up to date but for the most part this is the one that is most up to date in my eyes. So we're going to do the Baltimore Orioles one season rebuild. We can make all the trades we want. We can make any free agent signings that we need to. But I think this is going to be a really good challenge. All right. So as you can see, budgets is on. Force trades is off. So we don't have to worry about that stuff. And then when we get into it, let's take a look at the roster really quick. Just to kind of take a look and see what we need to upgrade. Obviously with the Orioles, there is a huge need for every single position. I think the one pitcher I'm going to work or like keep John Means here. Everybody else is kind of iffy. Relief pitching, I'm thinking Blyer, Gil Martin, and maybe Tanner Scott. And I'm not sure about Michael Givens yet. He's either hit or miss. It's really good or really bad. Catchers, maybe Chance Cisco. I've had some good luck with Chance Cisco, so he might be a player I don't really look to improve on just yet. Um, Mark Trumbo for one season it shouldn't be terrible. I think Jonathan VR is gonna be a player I look to trade. Um, and I think everybody else besides Trey Mancini is a player I'm looking to get rid of. So when we take a look at the lineup, um, again, yeah, really just Trey Mancini is a player I'm cool with keeping. Everybody else could definitely be traded. And then pitching rotation and bullpen definitely need some improvements there. So that's kind of the idea. Let's take a look at free agents really quick. Jeremy Jeffers might not be a bad addition to the squad. So he might be a player I look to bring in. Maybe Scooter Jeanette. Um, but I think Jeremy Jeffers is definitely a player I'm looking to bring in. I think he's going to be a really good bullpen for arm, arm for us. So let's at least add him right away. Um, let's just do like a two-year, $10 million deal. Roster's full. So I'm going to add him to the team. Let's go make a couple of trades and see what we can do. All right, first trade, I'm thinking for a DH or possibly even a left fielder, Charlie Blackman. Not a bad option. We're going to trade Chris Davis and Richie Martin. All right, Adley Rutschman, Hunter Harvey, and Luis Ortiz are going to get us Tim Anderson of the White Sox. So that's our new shortstop. DL Hall, Grayson Rodriguez, and then Alex Cobb. The big piece right here is going to be Grayson Rodriguez. A potential for Carlos Carrasco of the Indians. I think he's going to be a good one-year pitcher for us. Jismuel, Valentin, Adamar Rafaela, and then Gabriel Yanoa are going to be traded for Carlos Rodon. I'm hoping he does well. I've seen him do really well, and then I've also seen him do really badly. And then to wrap up things, I think, unless I can find another trade, is going to be George Springer is going to be our center fielder for Steve Wilkerson and Jonathan VR. All right, we're going to be trading Ty Block and Mark Trumbo for Mike Moustakis. I, felt, I figured we needed a lefty bat in the lineup, and... Um, I'm looking at the team now. I'm kind of liking it. There's a couple holes in the lineup, obviously. I definitely want to strengthen this bullpen a little bit, and I think we should be done with trades after that. All right, Blaine Knight, Miguel Castro, and Dylan Tate, all like B potential players, are going to be traded for Dylan Floro of the Dodgers. I think that's it now. Um, let me get the lineup and the pitching rotation set, and then we'll see how this team looks. Alrighty, so the pitching, like, Looks decent. Um, John Means, Carlos Rodon, Carlos Carrasco, Dylan Bundy, and Aaron Brooks. These two are a little worrisome, but um, I, we've basically cleared house on all prospects that have some value and stuff like that. We still have like Ryan Mountcastle, I guess we could have traded, who's got some value, but for the most part, we've basically cleared house on everything. Um, and then when you look at the bullpen, I kind of backed out a little early. It doesn't look terrible, actually. Um, some really good like glitchy players like Floro, Blyer, Gil Martin's usually solid. Um, Jeremy Jeffers as a bullpen option wasn't a bad free agent pickup. And then Michael Givens. When we take a look at our lineup though, this is where I think we're going to look really solid. We got Tim Anderson, George Springer, Charlie Blackman, Mancini, Moustakis, Hanser Alberto. I signed Scooter Jeanette for another lefty bat, Chan Cisco, and then Renato Nunez. So overall, I think we've actually turned this team around pretty quickly um we do still have some a potential players so i might try to actually improve ourselves a little bit 
more. Maybe find like a really good hitting first baseman or something like that, or maybe even a better starter. Let me make one more trade. All right, Luis Castillo for th uh, two prospects in Mullins and Mountcastle, and then Aaron Brooks was our fifth starter. Now that's it for trades. I know I was kind of all over the place, but I mean, that actually makes us look pretty strong in the starting rotation. The bullpen looks decent as well. And then our lineup looks really strong. It's not as strong as I would have hoped, but I feel like with the trades we've made, we've really turned this team around. So we made the postseason. The thing is, do you think we made it as a wildcard team or did we win the division? What do you think? We won the division 94 and 68, taking on the Indians in the division series. So league leaders, George Springer is always a great pickup in franchise. I'll try to avoid picking him up. If you guys want to see some more one year rebuilds, I'll try to spread it out and get different players. But George Springer is the MVP. He won the Hank Aaron and then we had a gold glove. To be honest, I was actually trying to get Carlos Correa instead, and I just couldn't get a trade to work out. So that's why I ended up going with George Springer instead. But look at that season, 43 home runs, 41 doubles, and 127 RBIs with a 323 average and a 1064 OPS. That's insane. Yelich won the NL MVP. Cy Young went to Yu Darvish and Chris Sale. Okay. And then when we take a look at the standings, we won the division by two games and we're the 15th ranked team, fifth in contact, fourth in power and eighth in pitching. So not too bad at all. So let's take a look. Uh, it says we got a, a pitching league leading stat. So I want to see what that is. We also had the most at bats. Didn't get a notification for that. Um, but I did see that we had, yeah, Carlos Carrasco had the most wins and we weren't told about that. Um, any other stats up there? No, but we did have a couple second place stat winners, I guess you should say. But taking a look, Carlos Carrasco had the most wins in the AL, but a really high ERA, which is interesting. Carlos Rodon was good. Luis Castillo was really solid. Um, John Means was good. And then Dylan Bundy, meh, meh, not too bad, not too great. Tanner Scott was trash. Sean Gilmartin did well. Paul Fry was meh. Dylan Flora was not as good as usual. Richard Blyer. Jeremy Jeffers and Michael Gibbons were all good. So it looks like that closing, like that setup and that closer, really solid, really reliable in the team. When we took a look at our bench, Pedro Severino had a great year. Ruiz was meh. Um, Santander was meh. And then Dwight Smith Jr. was actually a really good bench bat for us. Um, I don't think we're going to have anybody in the minors that we could call up, but Tim Anderson was a really good leadoff hitter, 24 home runs, almost 100 RBIs and almost a 280 average. We had Springer, obviously was the MVP. Charlie Blackman was a great left fielder for us. Really good home runs, RBIs, and average. Trey Mancini added some pop to the lineup as well. Mike Moustakis did well. Hanser Alberto did quite well. Scooter Jeanette was a good second base pickup or DH pickup. Lefty bat was what we needed. Chancisco wasn't terrible either. And then Renato Nunez was kind of like the worst one in the lineup. Um, so that's not too bad. We had a lot of power good run production and pretty happy with the way we turned this Orioles team around in just one season so taking on the Indians Carrasco lost Castillo won we win that one and it comes down to this decision game game five of the series and I'm gonna go Luis Castillo I feel like Carrasco is a little bit of uh a liability at this point but looking at the uh, Indians lineup looks like they haven't made any changes at all um, going against Zach Plesek I would love a win here I want to make it at least past the first round of the playoffs that would be huge there we go Trey Mancini makes it a two-run ball game couldn't add any more to that unfortunately but um, two two game two three game come on just get that last out that was all with two outs as well so we had a that was a rough inning five runs with two outs all right castillo's done um facing a lefty let's go let's go gil martin gets us the out perfect if we can just somehow sneak a couple runs in within the next couple innings we should be good come on we can do it i can feel it i know the team can do it there's a triple george springer i needed i needed some runs right there Stolen base and a fly out. So Charlie Blackman's up. We got two innings to come back and get those three runs. We're running out of time. All right, let's 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 get a new pitcher in. Let's go to Jeffers. Jeffries, whatever his name is. And it comes down to this. Can we get these three runs? 
That's a good start. Um, I'm actually going to see if we got a righty on the bench. We do. We have Severino. <sighs> do I go to the righty? Jeanette's having a rough postseason. Let's go to Severino. Works out. Okay. Um, swing. Bases loaded for Nunez. A strikeout, Tim Anderson. Oh, man. That sucks. All right. So two outs. Down to can we do it? We can't. Unfortunate, man. That one inning where they allowed five runs with two outs. I felt like Castillo should have been able to close things out. But you know what? I'm pretty happy with the way we were able to turn this team around with just one season and just trading everybody. And I know it's not realistic, but that's not the point. We're just trying to build a team in one season and see what we could do. So again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and we'll do more one season rebuilds. Let me know in the comment section which team you'd like to see next. Also, if you guys want to do one season rebuilds along with me, the roster that I used was at the beginning of the video. Go back and check it out. And then you guys can do one along with me. And in the comment section, you can tell me the team that you were able to create or tweet me the team, like tweet me a picture of the team that you used um, after you made all the trades and let me know what you guys did. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.